For Creatures of Light, for the production side, we start about eight months in advance, and we have a crew of a dozen preparators who are the creative model makers and sculptors and painters who create all the organic species and models for the show. These weird little shapes are the gills on the inside of her mouth that I kind of thought was a really cool detail in the, in the specimen that I was given as reference. We do extensive research at the beginning of the project and really decide what specimens are going to appear in the exhibit and then we move to visual research and doing extensive studies of what they look like and color and form and shape and for this show, what makes this different and unique from any other exhibit is the extensive lighting that's in this particular exhibit. And all the models have LED controlled lighting in them. There's a lot of experimentation, a lot of testing to get these pieces to really work. What if you just painted everything a little darker? And then, you know, accentuate, like try to get the, the darker areas really dark in, in the, the, the medium ground areas. Yeah, just bring, bring them down. down. Just bring everything down. As, you know, all our work here has to be really uh, accurate scientifically, so we work very closely with the curators, in this case John Sparks, to come uh, on a weekly basis to check all our work. And what John does is review all the models we're working on and uh, give his okay whether they're accurate, especially when we're dealing with some of the, the fish models and creatures below the surface in the abyss. Or like this. Well, it's pretty much the same, right? Teeth or no I mean, if you want to show the teeth a little more, but you, teeth, can open you, you, can, you want the, you want the little comb teeth, I think, if you can. Okay. I don't know how easy. There was uh, at least two dozen models that we built. We're creating something unique that doesn't exist, and really doing it for the first time. So everything we do is custom. 